Welcome to the battery wiring module. Today we're going to be wiring our lithium batteries in parallel. This is the most common application for vans and it's pretty straightforward and easy. And I'm going to walk you through the steps. So I have 300 amp hour lithium batteries from Battleborn. These are great batteries. I'll have some links in the description for these batteries. And wiring batteries in parallel is very simple, straightforward. We're just gonna basically link all of our positive terminals together and we're gonna do the same with the negative. So we're just gonna cut and crimp wire. So I have a two gauge copper wire here, stranded wire. You're gonna want two gauge for these, these runs here. And basically we're just gonna cut and then throw on our, our in terminals for our two gauge wire. And we're gonna have to crimp these bad boys on here and heat shrink them. I got wire cutters and a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, you can always use a lighter, but the heat gun does work great. So let's get into it. So the first order of business is I'm gonna cut each wire so I can just hook them together and the, watt and the batteries are going to go like this in the van. So just line your positives up and line your negatives up. And make sure you have your configuration ready for your application. And now I'm just going to cut these wires, both black and red. So let's do this. So now that we have our wires cut, I'm going to strip them. I don't have a big enough wire stripper for these wires. So I'm just going to use my wire snippers here. And I kind of just will work this do light cuts and kind of just work my way around. Make sure not to cut into the wire here and then voila, pop that off. And we're going to do that to all of these. So now we will throw on our heat shrink. We're going to get our terminal rings. I have these copper terminal rings. This is for a two gauge wire. Make sure you have the right size. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult shoving that in there. And always before you go ahead, make sure your terminal ring matches your bolt. So this is the bolt for the this is the bolt for the Battleborn battery here and just make sure it fits through that hole. So otherwise, you're going to have to find one that's thicker if you have a thicker bolt. So make sure they match before you go ahead and crimping these on because then you'll just create another headache. So what I'm going to do is take my wire and shove it in here. So now that I got it in there, you could take a crimping tool or what I like to do is I like to put it on a vise and really smash it on there. All right, we're here at the vice grip. This does a great job at crimping these wires. So what I like to do is I like to just shove it in here at the bottom. If you do it too high at the top, you'll actually end up smashing your terminal ring. So just push it in, have, the, have it out the bottom. I'll show you here. I kind of have it facing down out the bottom. And then you're going to want to put some pressure down on the wire as you crimp down onto the vice grip. I'm just going to push down and I'm just going to let that vice grip clamp it nicely. Get a tight crimp on these. And then when I pull it out, you can see I got a really good crimp there and it's not coming off. So the vice grip really does the trick for these thicker cables. If you do have good crimping tools, you're going to really wear your hand out. So if you have a vice grip, this is going to make it easy. So I'm going to do all of these now. All right, now we will heat shrink the wire. So I have this heat shrink and I'm just going to slip it over and we're going to just cover that portion there, that little gap. Some of them don't have as much of a gap. We're just going to cover that up. And I have my heat gun. I got this at Harbor Freight for like under $20. This is going to make you have nice, clean electric work. So let's heat shrink these bad boys. They look nice. 
So now I'm going to do all of them. All right, so I got my shunt in place for my Renogy battery monitor, and that is hooked up to the bus bar, and it's going to hook up to the battery here. And now I'm just going to wire my batteries in parallel. So I'm going to use the provided screws from Battleborn, and I'm just going to hook them all up. And I'll show you how I do it. I'm just going to show you in a quick time lapse, and then that way it's easy to follow along. But basically, we're just chaining them together, positive to positive and negative to negative. It's a quick, easy process. So we're going to use the provided Battleborn bolts and washers. So we're going to have a bolt, and we're going to have a washer, and then we're going to put it on our terminal through the battery terminal here. And then we're going to have a washer on the end, and then we're going to apply our nylock on the end there. So that's the assembly there, and I'm going to do it to every single one. All right, so I got them all wired in parallel, and I still need to add a positive connection to my positive bus bar. And you're probably thinking there's a lot of slack on these. Um, I left a lot of slack because if you have to remove these batteries, they're going to be in a tight space. And I want them to kind of be able to be moved around so they can actually be finagled out if you when they're time to be replaced. So very quickly, these are heat enabled battle born batteries and I'm just going to hook up my heat enable. So I'm just going to take the provided cords and I'm just going to chain them together here. And then off of this end, I'm going to have a switch just probably right here on the front of the panel here. So this is pretty straightforward. I'm just going to unscrew all these. All right, you kooks, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you're able to follow along. This is an easy, quick job. I'll have all the tools and materials you need in the description. In the meantime, check out vankooks.com and check out our master class and go ahead and sign up for it. And from here, check out our video on establishing a solid ground connection that will help you in setting up your battery bank. And thanks for watching, you kooks, and we'll see you on the flip side.